initiation from the workshop actually came from our partners, the uh, uh, German Society and Allianz Francais. And then uh, I guess we then figured out what to do with it and what to create within it. So it was an opportunity to help build the industry as a whole. We spoke to our entire audience, everyone who's had anything to do with Comics Post and Broader, to see would they like to participate in this sort of thing and to send an application. It was a closed workshop, which means we only wanted 15 people. We split it into two halves. The goal was to best utilize both the 2D illustrator uh, facilitator and the 3D animator. So the first week was spent coming up with the concepts, learning how to come up with concepts that are worth continuing forward and coming up with our characters and our illustrations and our model sheet. And that went into the 3D half where that same model sheet and those same character designs and that same story were now converted into 3D and prepared for animation. I, I would throw some kind of exercises at them that had very little to do with animation, but more with how to develop an idea or how to, ch how to use other mechanisms like chance or cooperation with others or even productive misunderstandings to make ideas more interesting or shift from one narrative strand to the other. And they were trying to, at the same time, develop uh, animation projects that they can actually hopefully complete within the two weeks. So it was kind of a back and forth between a very pragmatic approach where I left a lot of, uh, in a way, the organization to the student group because some of them are experienced producers, uh, experienced modelers and so, and so on. So they built teams that were really quite professionally pushing these projects and I would be a little bit trying to disturb their routines and make it make them question these things, which I think was, uh, for me at least, very interesting. So the end product of the first week was in the form of uh, two scripts. So uh, Pierre had the opportunity to look at both the scripts, give us his opinion on what was possible in the short time that he was available, and then we began to attack that first thing in the morning on day number one of week two. In this class, we have 15 students, and all the guys are very motivated, from advanced guys to very beginners. But I mean, basically they all did some uh, fine art studies. So it's pretty cool. And because there was this other masterclass just before, uh, a, design, a drawing masterclass with a, a very good illustrator, uh, a cartoonist from Germany uh, named uh, Olaf, uh, they've done some good stuff with him that prepared what we've done in 3D this week, actually. Obviously, what we've done is very technical, pretty hard to, to learn, um, but the most important step is still uh, making a story and uh, telling stories about your environment and what you're feeling and everything. And so, uh, and I think uh, people here have many things to, to say to the world. So. So I was very uh, pleasantly surprised how uh, advanced and committed and serious most of the artists in this workshop were. And, the, and there are some who are younger and have maybe less, have had less exposure, but they too are very, very engaged and, and, and capable and smart. So it was really super nice. I mean, they, they really learned the basics and uh, right now they have all the tools and all the skills to do everything all by themselves. So I'm pretty, pretty proud, actually, from the, for the result we had this, uh, this week. And I felt like everyone was challenged in a positive way, because even the professionals who had done this before felt like it was a great opportunity to network. And um, I don't think anyone left completely empty-handed, and everyone was very grateful. All the participants were grateful. So as our current um, participants who, who finished it go and teach others, we should bring in more and they'll keep doing the same. And that's how we feed the whole industry. So I'm excited to do that again and add different workshops.